Okay, so today we are talking about the health benefits of cruciferous vegetables. You might be wondering what is the meaning of cruciferous. Cruciferous is derived from the Latin word crucifix, simply meaning cross. All right, so the cruciferous vegetables will help tackle chronic diseases like cancer, heart disease. It is also good for weight loss. So sit back and let us talk about this. Now, if you're new on the channel, don't forget to subscribe here. We talk about health, health wellness, and fitness. So let's get into this. Cruciferous vegetables are a group of green foods rich in a range of essential nutrients. When you include them as a regular part of your daily diet, these vegetables are linked with lower rates of many chronic diseases, including cancer and heart disease. A low in calorie and high in fiber. Cruciferous vegetables also help you feel fuller for a longer period of time, making them a great addition to weight loss and heart healthy diet. There are more than 3,000 different cruciferous species, with the most common vegetables including broccoli, cauliflower, kale, Brussels sprout, spinach, cabbage, radish, and more. While they offer many of the vitamins and minerals your body needs for the day, research shows that cruciferous vegetables also contain unique nutrients that promote healthy body function and may prevent disease. Let's talk about some health benefits. Cruciferous vegetables contain glucosinolates, compound that gives the dark green plant their bitter flavor. Research shows that glucosinolate have strong anti-inflammatory and antioxidant properties which will help to protect our cells from disease causing damages to our body, right? As a group, cruciferous vegetables are also high in protein, fiber, vitamins and minerals. Together with its glucosinolates, these powerful nutrients profile offer health benefits like Let's talk about the heart health, okay? Diet high in fruits and vegetables are consistently associated with lower heart disease risk. Studies show that cruciferous vegetables support this effect because the glucosinolate help reduce your LDL, that's bad cholesterol. And good cholesterol level help keep your arteries free from fatty deposits that lead to heart problem and stroke. Let's talk about cancer protection. The glucosinolate in, crucifer in cruciferous vegetable have been shown to kill cancer cells and stop tumor, stop tumor growth. Many observational studies show significantly reduced rates of many types of cancer in people with high cruciferous vegetable intake, including breast cancer, lung cancer, pancreatic, and stomach cancer. Isn't that good? Okay, so let's talk about improved immune immunity against disease. Cruciferous vegetables. Okay, cruciferous vegetables nutritional content is also associated with a lower risk of chronic diseases like diabetes asthma and alzheimer's disease studies show that the vegetable plant-based nutrients have antimicrobial properties that give your immune defenses a boost against sickness causing pathogen as well okay you can aid with weight loss i mentioned that earlier on average a serving of cruciferous vegetable has up to 20 percent of your daily fiber requirement research shows that getting about 30 grams of fiber each day can help you lose weight lower your blood pressure and reduce obesity and diabetes risk factor okay here is talking about nutrition rich in many vitamins and minerals cruciferous vegetables are also a great source of omega-3 the fat the healthy fats are essential to many bodily function like helping to maintain a good cognitive health reducing the risk of mental decline and conditions like alzheimer's disease cruciferous vegetables are also an excellent source of vitamin c folic acid iron 
calcium, and selenium. Nutrient per serving. Exact nutritional content varies among different types of cruciferous vegetables, but the micronutrients are relatively co uh, consistent. As an example, one cup of cooked broccoli contains, and here it shows, calorie 55, protein 4 grams, fat 1 gram, carbohydrate 11 grams, fiber 5 grams, sugar 2 grams. Okay, and here it says portion size. The USDA recommends you eat at least 1.5 to 2.5 cups of cruciferous vegetable per week. Study link three servings of vegetables a day with slowing, um, slower aging and lower risk of disease. And you can add cruciferous variety to a daily total with one cup of raw leafy vegetable as one serving. A half cup of cooked vegetable as one serving, a half cup of pure vegetable juice as one serving. How to prepare cruciferous vegetable? Cooking cruciferous vegetable can change their nutritional uh, content. Research shows that some nutrient level decreases with longer cooking time, including vitamin C and B, and antioxidants like flavonoid and beta carotene. However, Cooked vegetable can make some nutrient more bioavailable or easier for your body to absorb and use, like vitamin A, iron, and calcium. Research shows that steaming vegetable helps retain the greatest nutrient value, while boil, boiling them is the least effect, effective method. But microwaving, stir frying, and what sauteing each offer happy medium as does simply your veggies ah, some people don't eat their veg raw okay <laughs> to get the best balance of cruciferous vegetable nutrients include them in your diet in a variety of ways like chopping up arugula or spinach for a salad or pesto adding bokoi kale or spinach to soup and stew which help retain water soluble vitamins otherwise lost through cooking roasting a side dish of brussels sprout and radish in the oven stocking up a, fro uh, a frozen vegetable like broccoli which decline in nutrient content over time when fresh uh yeah it says substituting uh, turnips turnips for potatoes in dishes like mash, gratin, or french fries. Sneaking a serving of kale into a green smoothie or juice. Yeah, it says, grating cauliflower into rice or using it in place of flour in pizza crust. Now, these are some of the ways that you can actually enjoy, but do it whichever way that you think is the best. For you the most important thing here is i wanted to come in and talk about some of the health benefits and things that you can get from consuming the cruciferous vegetables i hope with this i've been able to give you more reasons why you should try some of these that i just mentioned here now like i said earlier the cruciferous uh, vegetables are a wide variety they have lots of them so you can choose you can make your choice if you don't like i know a lot of people said they don't like broccolis so if you don't like broccoli and then you have kale and the rest of them that you can actually try cauliflower and the rest so feel free to comment down below let me know what video you want to see next subscribe and make sure to add the cruciferous vegetable in this week meal thank you